Good morning everyone. I have a new camera and it's completely throwing me off. I've gone back to the Canon G7X, which was the camera we all had back in the day. And then I switched to Sony during lockdown. Uh, loved it, quality was incredible, but didn't realize because I wasn't really going anywhere that when moving around, the stabilization really wasn't good. And you guys have been commenting in some of my recent vlogs and also in that like pottery haul video that it's all a little bit too shaky and making everyone have motion sickness. So I've gone back to the Canon G7X, but everything looks different. The screen is different. It's currently flashing like a big red square when I'm recording and God, I just hope this all comes out okay. I thought today's video could just be a big old catch up at home because my last vlog was very much like out and about, didn't really get to chat to you guys properly. Today I'm at home working, so I've got so much to tell you, so much to show you and just thought I would start here, where I usually do, at my beauty desk, doing my makeup, getting ready for the day. It's actually a Monday today. I'll kind of show you what makeup I'm applying as I do, because I've got lots of new stuff, but I'd love to chat to you about some other things as well. So I've just put on the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, and this is really good, actually. It really does make you feel like you're putting something on that your makeup's gonna be able to grip to. And then for my base, I'm gonna be using the Hourglass Veil Hydrating Skin Tint. This is new. I went to, there was like a pop-up in King's Cross. I went to have a look the other day. This is very much a lightweight base, but it's not as light as something like the Glossier Skin Tint, which I just don't see any purpose of, really. It's got a bit more to it than that. It's like a light to medium but it's really nice and very glowy. I'm using shade five and I'll show you. I'll do it to like half my face. This is really nice if you don't like wearing lots of makeup. I just really rate Hourglass makeup. It's one of those brands that I wouldn't think that I actually use a lot from them. When I think about it, I love the mascara. I love the eyeliners. I'm totally obsessed with the Vanish stick foundation. So it's a foundation in a stick. Whenever I wear this foundation, people always compliment me on my skin, on my makeup. So these are quite opposite. This is medium to full coverage. Um, and this is much lighter, light to medium. But can you see how just nice, it kind of just smooths out the skin and gives it a little bit of a glow. And it's really nice for just like an everyday or like a weekend face, especially you can kind of, I use my concealer to just work on particular areas that I want more coverage on. How are you guys? Let me know in the comments down below. How are you doing? Sorry to be very British and talk about the weather, but what is going on? What is going on? This is so bizarre. We're not going on like a family holiday this summer. We were like, it's okay. We can stay here and just enjoy the summer in London. It's pouring with rain right now as I film this, honestly. I don't think we've ever had a summer this bad. I know it was like warm earlier in the year and I'm hoping that we're gonna have a really lovely like September because usually September is quite nice and warm anyway. But yeah, it's really annoying. I mean, just wanna be having picnics and stuff really. We like live for the summer, we need that. Like having such a kind of long and wet winter. Just such a shame, isn't it? We're all complaining about the weather. We don't want it to be boiling hot, but just like somewhere in between would be nice. I'm gonna use my Huda Beauty. Thank you to everyone who keeps reminding me how to pronounce this. It's not Huda, it's, someone said it's like a hood on your jumper, Huda. Great way to remember it. Uh, this is like way more of like a medium to full coverage. So even though I've got that lighter base, I can just kind of build it up in the, the patchy areas. I don't love using this under my eyes. I just don't love using liquid concealer under my eyes in general. I find that it creases more and I'm a bit more prone to get eczema with a liquid concealer. So annoyingly, I have to use kind of two concealers because I really love this one for the face. And then I like the Bobbi Brown cream stick ah, for under my eyes. So this is going to be my last video for a while. I feel like if I hadn't said anything, no one would probably notice, but I am gonna take a little bit of time off. I never take time off. I know my job seems very fun from the outside and I get to do lovely press trips and things like that, but um, it is still work. And yeah, I don't, I'm not very good at taking time off unless I've got like a holiday booked. So I'm forcing myself to take a little bit of time off and just be at home and sort out cupboards sort out the house, just like do stuff that I never get time to do. But most importantly, um, just be off social media. I'm going to try very hard. Um, I'm definitely not gonna be posting, because that's work for me. But I'm gonna try really hard to also not go on it as a viewer um, and not consume any social media, which I'm gonna find really tricky. I'm gonna get so much FOMO, like please tell me if I miss out on anything. But I guess the the it's really hard for me to have that line between work and personal. I can't really just look at Instagram and TikTok as like a normal person because it's always gonna feel like work. I'm always gonna 
think, oh, that's a good idea, or like, oh, what's that person doing? And I'm finding the scrolling, it's it's all become a little bit much, and I think I need a little bit of a, a mental health break from it all. And I'm proud of myself for like acknowledging that. And it's always scary taking time off work in this job. You feel a bit like people will forget about you or you're gonna miss out on jobs. So yeah, I always find it tricky to take time off, but I feel like it's important. Pause for one second. I am using this. It's from a brand called Reason. It's my friend Ree's brand. Guys, I can't tell you how obsessed I am. She's brought out two bronzers and one highlighter. They're, they're like flexible shades. This is the lighter shade in bronze. And I can't tell you how incredible the formula of this bronzer is. Is it a cream? Is it a powder? Who knows? It's a balm, that's what she calls it. It's very like, it like moves, it's like squidgy. It's so hard to explain, but I've been using this every day since she sent it to me. I mean, it's absolutely incredible. I, I love the formula. She's done so, so well. I'm really, really proud of her. Definitely go and check out... Oops, I just put too much on my neck. Definitely go check it out. Um, I will put the link down below in the description box. It's a small brand. It's all, like, self-funded. And she's literally got two products. But I think she's going to do amazing. She's been in the beauty industry for so long. She knows so much about beauty products. I absolutely love this. Also, Vive makeup brought out some new bronzers um recently and i love everything that vive do i would say these are the first products they've released that i'm not sure are 100 percent for me um everything else i've absolutely loved and it's only because i just don't fit in the shades that have come out i think um these are new cream bronzers and i really love the formula i just find that medium is a little bit too dark for me and then light is a little bit too kind of purpley it's more of like a contour shade and i find that when i use light can you see the difference between this shade which really suits me this one's much cooler and i look a little bit bruised when i use it so that's a shame maybe in the future they might bring out more shades but i really love the formula and if you fit within the shades these are, this is a really nice cream bronzer as well I've got so many new make new makeup bits and skincare bits i'm just gonna like sprinkle them throughout this video so yeah taking some time off i also feel like gray starting school in september and next year we're going to have summer holidays to deal with they're off for like oh, i don't even know a really long time and she might be too young to go on summer camps and stuff and i'm going to try and get into the pattern of like working less in august so that i can help with kids and summer holidays just like more long term when the kids are older so i'm using this year as a bit of a test to see how it is to not work so much in august um it's definitely quieter in the industry anyway in terms of brands working with you in summer so we will see i'm just hoping to like like i said sort through cupboards in the house just do stuff i never get time to do maybe treat myself to like a beauty treatment or something just not be on social media because it does make me go a little bit crazy sometimes this is a new brow pencil from rare beauty um love so much of the rare beauty products i didn't get on very well with those um blushes just because they were like a little bit too intense for me but um the products are so so nice they also stock kosas now and this is the air brow clear brow gel very nice doesn't make them go too crispy i just hate when the packaging is see-through because you can see how grubby it gets inside another new brand a uh, small brand this is ate jewels beauty brand um ate has been trying to create these products for five years um it was like a crowdfunded thing at the beginning um and now the blushes are finally out and you can buy them and um, there are three shades this one is radiant rav radiant rav cream blusher all very like highly pigmented um that's a really lovely shade actually i like that this is like only my second time using this. Very into like the ready blushes at the moment. I think it makes you look very like fresh and awake. I have got a little trip planned whilst during my time off. I'm going to Detroit for like four days, which is so crazy to go that far for four days. Um, and I'm going with my mum. And it's going to be very strange being on a long haul flight without kids. I think that is what I'm most looking forward to. Like, I can't remember what you do. Do you just like watch films? It's just can't even imagine it. This is the highlighter from Reason. Um, it's got a cream highlighter. Oh, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Sorry. Oh, I knew a sneeze was coming. It's got a cream highlighter and a powder. She made her like perfect combination. Um, and they are really, really lovely. This cream one. Well, it's more of like a balm. It's just so... Oh, it's so like dewy and lovely. I've been using this a lot. What else can I tell you? How are the kids doing? They're just so grown up. It's so weird. I suddenly just feel like I have two like proper children. We're like out of the baby phase. They are constantly either fighting or giggling or doing shows for us. And I'm like, it's just 
wild to see it. They're so, so different, honestly. It's, I'm trying so hard not to constantly compare boys and girls, but oh wow, do we have two um, real stereotypes on our hands at the moment. We'll see. I'm sure they will keep changing as they grow up, but it's definitely been really interesting to see how different they are in terms of like how they play and what they like require from us. It's also like a first kid, second kid thing as well. It's really, really interesting. Rare Beauty have recently brought out some cream eyeshadow sticks and they're really lovely, the formulas, but I find that all the shades are a little bit kind of like a little bit shimmery or a little bit too dark and none of them are as good as the Vive um, eyeshadow stick in Camel, which I use every day because it's the perfect shade. So I didn't want to use any of those today. I'm just not sure any of the colours really stick out to me as like a nice warm camel -y brown. This is just perfect. So have any of you seen the Barbie film yet? I have not yet seen it. I find that when things are very hyped, I start off by getting very excited and then I kind of get a bit annoyed with the hype and then I just don't want to see it. I will see it, but I'm just debating whether to wait until it comes out on TV because I don't get to go to the cinema very often. So if I'm going, I want it to be like worth it. My mum, did not give it a great review. She phoned me after seeing it. This is the Hourglass Eyeliner in Voya. Such a nice, soft eyeliner. My mum didn't give it a great review. Yeah, it's just been so overhyped. Like, apparently the marketing budget... Oh, I'm having deja vu. Have I already said this in a vlog, or is this just deja vu? Apparently the marketing budget was cost more than actually making the film itself, which really just, like, sums it up. Now, I'm a marketing geek. I think it's very clever. I have loved watching the marketing of it all unfold, but I'm a little bit over it, and now I'm not sure if I can be bothered to even see it. I probably will. If I can find someone in my life that hasn't already seen it, then I'll go and see it. But let me know what you thought, any sort of, like, real honest reviews, because I find that social media, it's kind of... Hard to tell what people actually thought of the film because everyone's just so excited to dress up in pink and go and watch it. I recently popped into Space NK and bought some stuff, did a little haul, and I'll show you at some point in this video, but one of the things I got was the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, and I've heard this product talked about for ages, but I was nervous that my it wouldn't be okay with my lips because they're all quite fragranced. There's some, like, coloured ones, and I went for the most basic. I went for vanilla which is like got no colour to it because I want to use this like in the evening. And it does have a scent, but I was like, let's just give it a go. And I've used it a few times and my lips seem to be fine. It comes with this really cute little like silicone applicator. And yeah, I've mainly been using this at night, but because I'm home today, it's just a lovely nourishing lip balm. I mean, clever to call it a lip sleeping mask because it just makes you a bit more excited about it. Gives it a bit of like purpose, but in reality it's it's just a lip balm but it's got a lovely light vanilla scent and it feels really really lovely nourishing on the lips so i'm gonna leave that on today i've got a call with my managers in a minute every monday morning we do like a catch-up call and we talk about what's going on for the week this is my last week of work so i think i've got like quite a few jobs to post this week before i take some time off. Actually some really nice ads that I've really enjoyed filming for Instagram. A lot of you have been asking me about my hair recently, um, saying that it looks nice, thank you. I can't, I don't know what I've been doing differently, but I have really been enjoyed using the JVN hair products. And um, they smell incredible, they smell like a proper nice like hairdresser smell. This is the Nourishing Shine Drops. Sorry, I feel like I sound so bunged up, I can't stop sneezing. It's like I've got hay fever or something, but like out of nowhere. Anyway, I'm just gonna run that through my hair and it gives it a little bit of shine oh, oh it smells incredible it smells incredible look how dark my hair is look how dark my hair looks next summer next summer i'm gonna put in some like lighter bits i need to give my hair time to heal after all of these babies now i need to go wash my hands it's 11 o'clock and i haven't yet eaten anything or drunk anything and i don't do like intermittent fasting i don't do any diets or anything like that but this is something i naturally sometimes just tend to do kind of by accident and i think i've always done but I didn't realise it was like a thing that people do on purpose. But it's more just because like I'm getting the kids ready in the morning, sorting them out, and then I had like a call and then I had to do a bit of work and suddenly it's like 11 o'clock and I haven't eaten or drunk anything yet. I think my body just, I don't get that hungry in the morning so I'd rather wait and then have like a bit more food and have like a later lunch. I don't really know, but it seems to kind of work for me sometimes. Depends how active the kids are in the morning. I'm gonna make my morning coffee 
And annoyingly, I've just come downstairs all ready to eat and realised we have no food. But our food shopping is coming later today. So I've got a couple of eggs. I'm just going to do some like fried eggs, chilli oil or something. Absolutely in desperate need for a coffee. Loving this little mug that I bought from SZ Ceramics, I think she's called. Um, really lovely, like wavy mug, good size for a coffee. You know when you order something from Amazon and you think you've ordered like five, but you've ordered about 500. I did that with um, some bags for my shoes. Like when you're packing a suitcase and you don't want your shoes to like touch all your other clothes. I have like one shoe bag, but I need at least like, I'd probably take like the most amount of shoes I'd take away is like three. And I ordered these from Amazon, way too many, but I'm just gonna hand them out to like my sisters and my mom, everyone wants some. They're little like drawstring bags, but what's really clever about them is they're very thin and they can like, you know, mold around your suitcase. They've got this like clear bit at the bottom so you can see which shoes are in the bag. I just thought that was very clever. I did a little TikTok, I think I put it on YouTube Shorts as well, so you guys may have seen it, um, about these vest tops from M&S. They come in a few different colours, black, white, blue, orange, and there's one other that I can't remember, pink. It's a knitted vest, so I don't know if you can see the kind of texture. I think it looks super expensive. It's only 15 pounds, so comfortable. I love this higher neck on a vest top. I think that's what I've realized I find more flattering on me is this like high neck rather than something like a V. And it's, you know, high at the back, high at the front, really comfortable. I think can really like smarter look. Really nice one with trousers, also with jeans. Really love it, I got it in a black and a white. I have nailed a good cup of coffee at home. So now I don't feel like I need to go out and spend money on coffee. In fact, when I buy a coffee out, I just feel like it's such a waste of money. Bought a coffee yesterday and it cost me like five pounds or something ridiculous. All I need is my grind coffee pod, with my grind coffee machine the perfect strength for me. My oat, oatly milk, has to be oatly, the others are all so sweet. In my little Lavazzo frother, perfect. Okay, gonna make some fried eggs. Really butchered that, didn't I? But it's gonna taste good. Still obsessed with that chili oil. My mum bought it from my recommendation and was like, oh my God, it's so spicy. I really don't find it that spicy, I love it. This is just like a late breakfast. I'm gonna eat lunch in like two hours time. I'm hoping by then the food shopping has come. I am the queen of procrastination and on the way upstairs to my office to do some actual work, I needed to get something out of this drawer and then got distracted and decided to totally tidy it up. See, this is the mindset I'm in. This is why I need time off to just sort the house. I'm desperate to just go through every drawer and every cupboard and just organize. I feel like I'm basically nesting, but I'm not pregnant. I think that just happens every now and again when you haven't been like looking after your home and it all just like goes, starts like boiling over the edge and I'm like, I need to, I need to sort it out. But this was pretty satisfying. I've just sorted out my sunglasses. I've got four pairs of sunglasses, Madewell, Gemma Styles, Jimmy Fairley, Celine, and then my Ray-Bans are in my handbag. I've got like my passports here, a little jewelry travel case, a couple of belts, and then a couple of jewelry bits, and then just some like random things. This is like a picture of me and my grandpa who passed away when I was only five. Oh, come on, focus. This is not good for a new camera. Oh no, the autofocus is so bad. This is really gonna annoy me. <laughs> also, before I chuck these out, I've been collecting some empties. Let me quickly run them through with you guys. Oh, this actually, I'm gonna keep this to remind myself to repurchase it because I really liked it. It's the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. I got like the mini travel size, but it's so nice. It's just a gorgeous glowy serum that I put on just before my makeup and it gave me such a nice glow to my skin. Definitely gonna get the full size of that. Finished another Japan Fusion Cleanser from Beauty Pie. This is just the best cleanser. It's like a gel cleanser. Oh, sorry, these products are covered in dust, gross. It's like a gel cleanser, which I think is a really nice between like a balm and a cream and it just takes off your makeup really well, leaves your skin feeling really lovely. Love the easy tube packaging. Finished an Aven Tolerance um, Hydrating Cream. This is always the moisturizer I go back to when my skin is feeling a little, little bit like eczema-y or a little bit reactive. Um, I haven't actually got another one of these, I need to get one, but I don't really, there's so many other products I wanna try that I don't really use this unless I need to kind of go back to it and I know it's just gonna sort out my skin, but it's like an emergency 
always have it type product. Finished off my CC cream um, from It Cosmetics, which I've had for absolute years. Still a product I really love, but as far as I'm aware, they haven't extended the shade range yet in the CC cream. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think the new product has a lot more shades, um, but I don't know why they haven't extended this product yet. Um, I'd really like to know why and if that's something they're working on because I used to love this and use it all the time and talk about it all the time. I just wanted to finish it off so I wasn't wasting it but um, there are other products that I would repurchase instead and use because the shade ranges are more inclusive. Um, but let me know if you guys know if they're extending this because it is a lovely product and I feel like everyone should be able to try it. Uh, this is one of the refills for the RMS Beauty Re-Evolve Primer. It goes in it goes in this packaging and I've already got another one inside that I topped it up with. A, just a lovely hydrating primer, really nice under makeup. Cannot tell you how off-putting it is on this camera that it flashes when it's recording. It's like stressing me out. Those are all of my dusty empties. Also, you know, I said that I went to Space and K to top up on a few new bits. So one of them I showed downstairs, which is that lip balm, the sleep lip mask. I also picked up an Orbe dry texturizing spray because I have missed this in my life. Every time I do my hair and then I'm about to go out and I just want to like zhuzh my hair up a bit because it can like go a little bit flat. This is the product that you need in your life. It's just like lightweight. It's like not hairspray. Hairspray makes your hair sticky. This just like gives it, and it's not like volume either. I don't want volume in my hair. It almost just makes your hair like, it takes my hair from this to like, this <laughs> where I don't I can't explain it just like keeps the waves really nice um I also picked up another tan Lux of the gradual which I've been loving I've almost finished my other bottle I feel like I finally learned how to use this for years I would get really streaky and patchy with it and I don't know what I was doing wrong but as long as you exfoliate and then just apply this like really evenly using a mitt I think that's where I was going wrong I think I used to try and use my hands because it's like more of a lotion but use a mitt like you would with a tanning mousse and it applies so nicely and it gives such a nice gradual tan that doesn't start going patchy it just kind of disappears eventually and then I did need a hairspray for when I like wear my hair slick back in a bun and I thought I'd try this one from Amica or Amica Amica I think which is a really nice brand this is just the touchable hairspray which made me think that it wasn't going to be like super kind of make your hair like really crispy so those are the three things i picked up from space nk oh doorbell george and i had a bit of spare time the other day um we have like regular shoot days and normally i've got enough jobs going on that i am normally just doing jobs with her which is actually a shame because i really like making organic content with her as well um, but as I said, Sam was a little bit quieter, so we had some spare time and I wanted to take some photos because we never really take photos. We're just, I feel like it's a video world out there at the moment and we're just constantly making reels and videos and YouTube videos and I haven't taken a photo in quite a while and I was feeling in the mood for it. So we thought we would do a little kind of carousel of images or something. I haven't really decided how I'm going to like post it yet, but showing wearing black dresses for summer. I love a black dress in the summer with a bit of a tan, with a red lip. Um, so I thought I'd show you some of the photos. I'm now going through the photos to kind of pick my favorite ones and then she'll edit those. Let me show you, she's just sent me them and they came out so well. We put like a sheet up in the garden and put out a little stool and just got posing really. And then the kids came back at the end and joined in and we actually got some gorgeous photos of the kids together. Obviously I can't show you those, but they are so special. Just so nice to have someone with like a proper camera there taking proper photos of your kids. Like 100% gonna frame one of those. It's so cute. This one where Gray's just putting her arm around Rudy and he's smiling and it's so cute. So dress number one. Um, there are obviously loads of photos. Um, and let me see if I can find like that would probably be one that I would favorite, this one here. Um, there are loads of photos actually, that one came out nice. And then I'm wearing a t-shirt dress for one of them. Loads of nice photos and then where's the next dress? Oh yeah, this one from The White Company, a bit of a different, a different style. That's a really nice one bit more of like a fuller skirt that's nice um and then this 
<laughs> lol at that one i think she kept that in just for jokes um, and then this uh, and other stories dress. So many nice photos. She did so well. It was really, really fun. Um, now I just need to work out what to do with these photos and how to make some like fun edits with them. I'm just planning a shoot for later on in the week. I think I'm going to do a video that is going to show like a few different airport outfit ideas. So I'm just planning them out now, trying to get a bit organized so it's not chaotic on Thursday. So I've got a long haul day flight and then I've done a long haul night flight because I think they're kind of different when you're sleeping, it's a whole nother ball game. I've done a weekend getaway and then I think I need to do one more that's kind of like a work trip. So I just need to plan out that last one and then they're all ready here. But I just heard food shopping arrive and it's quarter to two and I'm very hungry so I'm gonna head downstairs and make some lunch. Okay for lunch I think I'm gonna do a fish finger wrap so I'm actually just gonna use the air fryer because it cooks them so much quicker. I haven't heated it up so I'm just gonna do like 10 minutes. Let's do nine minutes. Oh it's so good like heating up the whole oven just for two fish fingers is such a waste. This is just, oh, love it. Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna add to my wrap some mayo, a little bit of sriracha. Oh, new one, sriracha. Spread that all around. A bit of salad leaves, avocado. Of course, some pickles. The pickles that I'm obsessed with and I can't stop talking about. Okay, fish fingers. Oh no, this is gonna be way too big, isn't it? <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna be able to eat that. Mm. It's like a homemade Leon fish finger wrap without the tartar sauce, which I really don't like. I kind of wish the Leon wrap didn't have that anyway. Okay, it's much later in the day. Got all my work done for the day and very excitingly, I'm going out for dinner. What a treat. Love a Monday night out. Oh my God, Rudy's watching me vlog for the first time ever. He is literally like WTF. <laughs> I never vlog with the kids around. My friend Millie is coming over. You might remember her. She used to be my manager when I used to be with Gleam. She's coming over. She hasn't seen the kids in ages. I'm going out for dinner and it's going to be so nice to see her. We are celebrating her. Can I say that she recently got engaged? I don't think it's a secret. It's on her Instagram, isn't it? Hey. Yeah. So I wasn't expecting to have some nice plans this evening and I'm very much looking forward to that. God, Rudy's climbing through my legs right now. Endless fun with the kitchen island. Oh, you cool. <laughs> <laughs> I find that when I get out of the car and I've been wearing my glasses, suddenly I feel like I literally can't see every, anything and everything's so blurry. I'm just heading out to have dinner with Millie. She's been at my house, like seeing the kids and stuff, but I couldn't vlog any of that, but we're now going for sushi. I'm so excited, but I was like, what can we eat? Like, we could choose anything. And I haven't had sushi in ages, so I'm going to a nice sushi that I've actually never been to before. Can't wait. I'm here with Millie. Hi. Hi. Hi, I'm back. Um, got our miso soup. Actually, the food just came super fast. So that's our corn tempura inside out roll. This is the tuna crunch. Oh my God, that looks like so my perfect good. sushi roll. Salmon sashimi, some pickles, yes. We've got some grows are coming. I um, can't remember what else. This looks so yum. Mm, good pickle. Guys, I have not found anywhere in London that does this crispy rice with salmon like they do in South Africa. I can't believe they do it here. Why have I not been here before? It's Kyoto in West Hampstead. It's so nice. Delicious so far. This is incredible. Dinner was so nice. Oh my God, that sushi was delicious. And it was just so nice catching up. Like we had basically the end of the afternoon together and then the evening and felt very good just like reminiscing about the old times on the internet and social media youtube and just like really funny memories felt really really nice to catch up i then went to see my grandma for a cup of tea like a late night cup of tea which was lovely because i don't tend to go and visit her in the evenings and it was just a little bit different and it was really like chilled and we just sat in the lounge and she's in a dressing gown and it's like a different vibe you know it was just 
really lovely just to sit and chat and catch up and I treasure like every minute I have with her. She's 92 and I am so grateful that she's got all of her memories. Like I know that not everyone has that with their grandparents. Um, I only have one grandparent, but I feel very grateful that she can talk about memories of going, taking my mum on holiday when she was a little girl and like so many stories and memories. It's really, really special and it was just really lovely to sit and chat. I'm gonna head home now. It's like half nine, I'm desperate for a cup of tea, desperate to get into my PJs. Tomorrow morning, I am going to my mum's house for a manicure and a pedicure. I can't wait, like what a treat, a little like pre-treat treat for us. Uh, very much looking forward to that. But yeah, this is my last video before I'm having a little bit of time off. So I will miss you guys. I will miss making content. I know it's only a short time I feel like I'm doing like an Oscar speech and everyone's gonna be like Lee we won't even notice that you're gone but for me it's a big deal because I make content every day it is natural for me to just constantly be filming and making content and it's gonna feel weird not doing that like I'm nervous I'm nervous about it like eh. I'm already looking forward to September I love September it's like new school year I'm gonna spend August thinking of some ideas of what I want to do and then like come back with a bang I've actually loved making content in the past few months and you guys have been really kind with all your comments and everything so I'm coming back and I'm already looking forward to my return <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you soon bye